Have you ever asked yourself, who am I? What the F am I doing here? Unless you are still fast asleep, you probably have. Why is it important for us to know ourselves? And it's actually getting more and more so. The old way didn't require of us to know ourselves. The authority we obeyed was the society. Now we are done with that nonsense. The point is not to negate who we are and turn into a robot anymore. The point is to know who we are and through our uniqueness and individuality serve the collective. This is why it's important to know thyself. And this is why more and more of us are embarking on that quest. Here are some questions that you can use as pointers and stay on track. 1. What are my top values? To answer this question, you need to take notes of how you feel about particular situations, experiences, persons, jobs. Your feelings are giving you clues about what is important to you. Also, you gotta take trips down memory lane and do the same thing with your past self. Let's say you used to have a job that you hated. You ask yourself why you felt that way. Then you spend some time reflecting and, for example, you realize that it was because you can't stand routine or being trapped in the same place or doing what someone else tells you. You keep asking why until you reach the final answer. In this example, the final answer might be because freedom is what is important to me. This means that freedom is your personal priority, your non-negotiable. It's who you are. The same process applies to every other situation you experienced in the past or you are experiencing now whether it's a job, a relationship, a place, a person, an event. Question number two. What topics always put me on fire in a conversation? If you don't give a damn about something, you can hardly pay any attention to it, let alone be put on fire. Being on fire is an unmistakable sign that you care, and you care a lot. Here you can do the same with the previous question. You ask yourself why. In this case, why do you care so much? What is it about that particular topic that moves you every time? Question number three. What does my dream day look like? You need to describe how a perfect day looks and feels like for you. Don't forget two things. One, do not censor yourself in any way. Allow yourself to be as unrealistic and as selfish as you can be. Thing is, truth and censorship do not match. And two, include as many details as possible. The more details, the more clues. Finally, ask yourself why for every single thing you wrote and keep going until you get to the core. 4. Who do I admire? Who am I jealous of? Chances are there are people that you follow, read, watch videos of, that you are inspired by, but maybe you are even jealous of. Jealousy, my friend, is simply a sign that there is something about that person or their life that you want to be or have. It simply shows you an aspect of yourself. Ask yourself why and that will get you to the truth. 
Remember, all of these questions require you to spend time in silence away from the countless distractions that you usually recur to, so you can hear your higher self whispering to you. They require lots of self-observation, introspection and throwbacks to your past experiences. Otherwise, you might still be entangled in fakeness about yourself that you inherited from your environment as a kid. Pas de soleil, pas de soleil, pas de soleil, pas de soleil.